having to think about data being manipulated and the fact that the tools that we have, even though all these platforms are saying no AI, or at least reveal that you're doing AI, but they really can't detect it reliably in anything yet that exists. So how is the forensic community adapting to the rapid evolution of deepfake technology? Because there's so many um, AI-powered tools coming out that are designed to detect um, AI manipulation or AI generation. But um, to a degree, in court, if you try to say, uh, when, when a lawyer asks you, how can you, as the expert witness, how can you tell that that was fake? And if you go, I used an AI tool and it told me it was fake. The next thing they're going to ask you is, how do you know that tool was accurate? And the thing is, all these tools, they're proprietary property made by the developers. They're not going to tell right. you what their secret is. They're not going to tell you how it works. So the research that I'm working on now is I'm trying to develop a, a manual framework for authenticating these. And it's it goes beyond listening to it. It goes. Be, it, you need to go beyond metadata. You need to look yeah. for loads of other things. Um, I'm I'm leaning towards audio because it's my specialty. Although I'm yeah. sure there are some ways, there will be some ways to adapt it to images and video at some point. I'm sure.